Big Brother, mainstream media, government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. Thank you for joining us for the first live broadcast of 2010, the first live weekday transmission. We kicked it off yesterday with the abbreviated Sunday, 4 to 6 p.m. that I do every Sunday. Because we're in a war for Western civilization, a war for liberty and freedom. Private offshore interests, the United Nations and others are openly setting up world government. Lord Christopher Monckton, of course, was the top advisor to Margaret Thatcher. Uh, he has an international consulting firm on scientific and uh, corporate issues to governments and Fortune 500. He, of course, is an award-winning journalist in his own right. Uh, his bio goes on and on. We'll give you his website several times before he leaves us uh, today. He's with us graciously for the next hour. He, with stunning accuracy, and you know I don't say that for most guests and, and unless it's warranted and due, but I want to single out his accuracy so that people pay particular heed today with exactly the slogans, exactly the nomenclature, exactly what would happen at Copenhagen, how they would, uh, even if it failed, still have the bureaucracy try to implement it, which Gordon Brown has announced treacherously against uh, the free republics uh, of the world. And so he joins us to talk about what really happened at Copenhagen, what this uh, new system is by the industrialized world saying they're going to monitor nation's carbon footprint and go ahead and start levying the taxes and doling out Western taxpayer money from Europe, England, and the United States. And then we're going to move into uh, the latest on climate gate and, and, and how these fraudsters are still trying to take over at the local level. Here in the U.S., taxes on TVs at the state level in many states, taxes on plastic bags, home inspections. The U.N. has announced with Schwarzenegger governor's conferences, mayor conferences, doling out money for cities to implement this, circumventing the federal government, uh, working with foreign powers. This is completely illegal and unconstitutional. And is an act of sedition. So uh, we're going to break here in just a few minutes and come back in the long segment. But I want to introduce Lord Christopher Monckton. Sir, great to have you here with us. Well, Alex, it's a real pleasure once again to be with you. And you're quite right. The usual suspects are still doing their best after the quite spectacular failure of the Copenhagen Conference to try and turn it into what in their terms is a success by setting up a so-called high-level panel, which is, if you like, the kind of stub of the world government they had hoped to grow, and they will hope to start transferring your money and mine to that high-level panel, along with the Copenhagen Green Fund. It's actually called the Copenhagen Green Fund. No longer any pretense of political objectivity. We're now in among the Reds who call themselves green, the watermelons, uh, and they are now named as the Green Fund, which is going to be the recipient of all this money that we're going to pay. Uh, the United States in particular has uh, said it's going to contribute really enormous sums of money, your money, to this Green Fund. And what it's really going to be used for, of course, is not to help the poorer countries of the world to adapt to climate change, because there's nothing to adapt to. It will be spent instead on setting up and growing the expensive, corrupt, central government bureaucracy of the new, very left-wing, virtually Marxist world government, which the likes of Gordon Brown and uh, Obama and Kevin Rudd in Australia would so very much like to see, and which the countries like China and Russia, of course, who are also inclined in that authoritarian, totalitarian direction, are also inclined to follow. So we haven't won as a result of Copenhagen. We've certainly won on points, but it's not yet a knockout. Much more work is to be done if we are to stop this very sinister movement towards undemocratic world government from carrying on any further. Let us suppose that there was a scientific or economic case. Lord Monton. doing anything about the climate. Yeah. We've got a break. Come back right there. Sorry to cut you off. No we problem. have the third Viscount of Brenchley and Moncton. Lord Christopher Moncton is our guest. Please stay with us. He'll be right back as he gives us a worldwide briefing on what these criminals are up to.
This is Alex Jones with five good reasons you should consider buying a solar power generator. Number one, new climate legislation could easily double or triple your electric bill. Number two, our new energy czar wants to control how much power your electric company allows you to have. It's true. Total government control of electricity in the name of smart grid technology is coming. Number three, in some areas of the country, the power grid is dangerously overloaded. And now new socialist legislation is only compounding the problem. Number four, dangerous weather is always a threat to local grids. Every year, thousands of families lose their power from weather-related outages. Number five, a solar power generator provides powerful backup insurance and peace of mind. Folks, I really believe in the solar power generators offered by Solutions from Science, one of my oldest sponsors. You can get more information at www.mysolarbackup.com. That's mysolarbackup.com. Remember, the government doesn't own the sun, so go to mysolarbackup.com or call 1-877-327-0365. Hi folks, this is Alex Jones and I want to tell you about the Silver Lungs Generator. Now you can produce pure and endless colloidal silver and deliver the solution directly into the bloodstream by breathing the solution through the lungs. The respiratory system is the first line of defense for airborne pathogens and viruses. The Silver Lungs Generator infuses the respiratory system with your self-produced nano-silver solutions and also delivers the silver nanoparticles instantly into the bloodstream. With continued legislation threatening the sale of nano-silver products, you can now produce pure and endless colloidal silver with the Silver Lungs Generator. Very easy to follow, step-by-step -step instructions are provided, making production fast and simple. Go to www.silverlungs.com today and learn more about the breakthrough technology of the Silver Lungs Generator. That's www.silverlungs.com. Hundreds of nations have fallen to tyranny in the last century alone. This is our last chance to not relive history. As we're finishing off this agenda, uh, they'll be pulling the rug from underneath the Americans at home. They have tremendous influence on our president and Congress, and they really are calling the shots. I think it's incumbent upon all of us as American citizens to pay attention. Fall of the Republic identifies the enemies of our nation, the criminal offshore cartel, hell-bent on destroying sovereignty and on its ashes constructing world government. Tim Geithner, Bernanke, they're arsonists. They're asking for more matches. And the Congress is saying, who do we make the check out to? Today, it seems like nobody does care. And right now in Washington, D.C., we have seen a fall of the Republic. Get your copy of Fall of the Republic on DVD at Infowars.com or watch it online right now in super high quality at PrisonPlanet.tv. Big Brother. Mainstream media. Government cover-ups. You want answers? Well, so does he. He's Alex Jones on the GCN Radio Network. And now, live from Austin, Texas, Alex Jones. The third Viscount of Moncton and Brenchley, Christopher Moncton, is our guest. If you had to single one person out as the general or the George Washington of this fight, against the climate criminals, the scaremongers who know it's a fraud, that want to tax and control all facets of life, it's Lord Christopher Monckton. He is the main champion, the focal point, articulating the facts, predicting the enemy's movements, and giving us the intel to devastate their operations. We've had a major victory at Copenhagen in this engagement, likening it to a naval engagement, but the enemy's main fleet is remassing to launch more attacks, circumnavigating the federal governments of the planet, going directly to the states, the counties, the cities, Schwarzenegger leading that treacherous charge here in the United States. They're also having the bureaucracies of England and uh, the European Union and the United States uh, ignore the people and ignore uh, the U.N. wanted this treaty, wanted everybody to sign over and sign their rights over to world government and, and all these new taxes. They couldn't, and so now they're creating the Global Fund, the Green Fund, to go buy off government, shut down their development. Maury Strong and others can suck more money out like they did with the Oil for Food program. So, sir, breaking down what really happened uh, at Copenhagen, the, the, the dragon wounded but not slain yet, and then getting into what their current agenda is and the latest on...